Welcome to Terra Nova. <laughs> so, hi guys, it's Leaf. I am joined by Nicholas Linerider. You might have heard from him. Say hello. Hey, hey, what's up, you guys? It's me, it's your boy. So, unfortunately, our crew is cut kind of short this week because, you know, uh, an imposter kind of got to that. <laughs> yeah, it's so, just me and him. Yeah. But I think I think we have a lot of stuff we can go over today. You know, when when you're in like the deep reaches of space, this is the only way to keep yourself entertained. And you know, we're just gonna walk just... right out of there. <laughs> yeah. So I'm sure you guys have kind of kept up with how our good little project of Mars is going. It's like I really love watching this place at like this certain at, time of day, like sunset. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that look! Yeah, I love the lighting on that. Whenever it like gets that like kind of like orange haze over the horizon, God, it's so beautiful. But you know, I just love how this newest build looks at night. And so, That's if we true. just find our way right over there, I don't even care. I'm doing it during the day. We're going. We're just going. Yeah. So if we go past our friendly little rocket, we can go to our newest little addition. And yeah, here we have the little bit of the agricultural dome. And I didn't want to go full tropical this week. I wanted to have something like a little bit more grounded. But, you know, it's... Let's just go in. I mean, it definitely looks really, really good. And like, this is one of my favorite shots in here, too. This is from, like, the uh, teaser from last week. And just love, like, oh yeah, that looks awesome. This is not intentional, but I really do love how like the pipes kind of glow like that. And we have lighting like, is always the thing that like makes anything look like, especially if you're going like more sci-fi and stuff. If you can get lighting, it's it's awesome. Like oh, lighting yeah. is always like the coolest part. And speaking of that, there, oh there we go. <laughs> All right, very bright now. So excuse the mess over here. This is because of some of our little habitants inside this dome but yeah we're just gonna sneak right by our little friend our little fred actually and here we have the starts of the agricultural dome <laughs> so what do you think about it so far nick i mean i think it really looks really really cool i like how you actually like added like bamboo because that means that we had to like somehow import bamboo to mars mm -hmm. just to like make fencing so and it looks so, really really nice and so and my, i do see a couple of uh little guys there oh yeah we're we gonna get to, animals finally <laughs> we're gonna get to them in just a little bit but let's talk about like you know the whole bamboo forest we have going on over here so i originally wanted bamboo like i knew it right off the bat i was like we need to get bamboo in here because as you might know it's one of the fastest growing uh foliage products out there and i figured you know for such a versatile building material this would be like the perfect place to introduce it to. So here we have our little bit of fountain bamboo and we have our Bengal bamboo. And I figure it'd be used for like different purposes. The Bengal more so for um for building materials, as you can see from our little observation platform over here. And we have the fountain bamboo, which, you know, it could be used to feed our new little residents. So we're just going to introduce them right now. <laughs> So these are the Rhode Island Red Chickens, and yes, we finally found a way to sneak Rhode Island into Mars, and guess what? It's still, like, the smallest animal we have here. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's still, the, yeah, it's gonna be the smallest problem. But, uh, yeah, because I think the chicken is probably, like, the best first animal to introduce to the series, because, like, yeah, if we're gonna get, you know, plants or vegetables and stuff food-wise, it probably makes a lot more sense to also get some some meat on mars and so oh, yeah. chicken is definitely a very very good option and I mean, yeah I, I still love the mod like because the other thing is uh i guess the, this is the first time we're kind of addressing it we're, we're doing mods now with terra nova because um, yeah i don't think we've actually addressed that yet have we i don't think uh, so i mean we kind of have with like the foliage not foliage but the terrain so true. this is like a full custom terrain palette from nick and let's just actually demonstrate it a little bit. We have all these different kinds of grasses. We have all these different kinds of soils, all these different kinds of sands, just to like have Get a lot of variation. variety. Yeah. And we still do have some snow too, which definitely helps. Which is definitely going to help with next week's build for me because I want to go. Uh, I definitely want to play more with the palette. 
So mm -hmm. I designed the palette with some things in mind for things I wanted to accomplish with my build and stuff. So um, hopefully that, that will fan out and stuff. So that's, I'm very, very excited about that. And oh, th there's a couple other little residents over there. I just oh, saw yeah. sneak by. We're oh, gonna this little address this guy there. right here. Uh, I love peacocks. They're like some of my favorite animals ever. And I hate peacocks. They're some of the worst animals ever, and I want <laughs> them to die. So I think that's fair. <laughs> I figure. I figured we might as well add a little bit of a splash of color in here. You know, maybe this was like one of the astronauts' pets or something like that. Um, and they wanted to bring them over to their little place on Mars. So here, here we are. <laughs> sure, well, yeah, I mean. Maybe it was a chicken farmer that had a peacock. Like, you know, I'm sure you've been to like farms like that, right? Where like, it'll just, they'll mm -hmm. just have like one or two random exotic, uh, exotic animals, like an emu or a peacock or something. Those but poultry otherwise, it's farmers. Just farm. I'm yeah. trying to find our other friend too. I think he- He just ran across the thing. Yeah, he just uh, disappears pretty he often. He bolted. Can we name him Bolt? Cause he just like- Bolt? Zips around. Let's do it. Where is he? <laughs> We're doing this live. <laughs> so yeah, we do have a western chimpanzee. He's starving and dehydrated, but you know, that's... That makes that's sense. Fine. <laughs> we sent him to Mars with nothing else. He, he just we, needs to learn on his own, you know? Yeah, we're trying, this is actually part of, uh, this is all part of Terra Nova lore. We're in real time. He's, uh, he's a genetically modified chimpanzee that we brought to Mars and uh, we're just trying to uh, expedite evolution. So we're trying to get him to uh, try to become self-sufficient and create his own uh, colony on Mars. Oh yeah. Uh, because in this canon, uh, apes now have rights. So, um, I mean, uh, it's probably like 2050 by this time. Of course they're going to, you know? Yeah, yeah, they're no longer allowed in zoos or whatever. They now have their own social security numbers. So they were sent to Mars to colonize it themselves, and so he is our pioneer. <laughs> so I'd... he was sent to uh, to kind of uh, learn learn the ropes, I guess, of how to make a colony. And I figured it'd be kind of cool to hark back to like that good old day, June fourth, nineteen forty nine, where Albert the second, the first monkey in space, was able to go there. And you know, yeah. I like him. Yeah, he's, he's at some cute. point. Yeah, we probably need to add a capuchin too, because didn't they send? Capuchins up to yeah. space at one point. I think it was yeah. tufted capuchin too. So, oh, then there yeah. you go. <laughs> so right Look over here. Look at him go. It's just. Yeah. I love the glitchiness of the animals. <laughs> oh yeah, it adds to charm. So over here we have a few of the little robots that Poison Blade made. Uh, we have a Fred oh. tugging some bamboo just because. I don't like that one. That one looks like he's like being like tied up and like forced to do it. Well, I mean. It, it covers up his little like smile that he normally, you know, probably give off. And well, stuff. I mean, if we just get rid of it, he's still happy. Maybe <laughs> not. <laughs> yeah, <I don't laughs> Maybe not. That. Uh, we'll just cover that up. He's he's a happy little worker. But um, <laughs> no, like we have one other one with a little bit of an axe chopping down the bamboo. Let's uh, I like that one. Let's That's just hope he cute. doesn't revolt. You know, now that we gave him weapons. And yeah, I just like to sneak all the dumb stuff in here. Just I like to add the humor to the game. So like we oh, have yeah, a chicken, like chicken stealing. Groups. Yep. The chicken groups I think those were by Haribo too. I mean, yeah, they look awesome. I love this little like, because this was made by BZ, right? Mm -hmm. or, yep. And like, yeah, I love the little like setup with like the, um, what are those things called? Microscope and the vials and stuff. And of course, any scientists <laughs> <laughs> number one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I figured I might as well Ooh. just throw down one of these billboards in here I do like the so we have fish on Mars now oh yeah we have f four different animals here now I guess yes, there you go and we have so a dragonfly like, <laughs> oh and dragonflies <laughs> we had a couple of little stowaway animals as well mm-hmm um, but yeah, like I really love this thing. So yeah, you got like a, a little banana palm section over there. Oh so yeah, you can get that potassium get... going, you know. So yeah, basically, like, ever since Zekin's uh, little excursion into growing vegetation on Mars, we've kind of now branched out. Now you have a a whole little setup. I like these. These are like the little cups with like 
I assume they're supposed to be like little like juvenile plants. Oh yeah, little saplings. Because I actually did steal these from Zeke and over here. I think it yeah. was in this one. In that maybe? one, yeah. Yeah, these little guys. They're um the temple plants actually. Oh really? Yeah, because yeah. I was wondering what where they were from. But yeah. Oh, that's kind of clever because they come in like a group of five. So mm -hmm. like if you just make yeah, that's kind of because I was like really we have plants that small. That makes sense though. That it's just really clever placing. Yeah, that that actually looks really really cool. But yeah, here, this is pretty much it. I do have like some extra stuff going along here. Like I have the water pipes going to the uh, main dome over there so they can get water for like irrigation and stuff. I have a few of these set up just to make sure that the water is all nice and filtrated. Uh, and yeah, just making sure that we continue the infrastructure all the way over here. We have the little bit of path and like the fencing. You know, I don't really know why we have the fencing. It's not um, like there's kangaroos out there yet, but... <laughs> the Martians are gonna take over. You can never be too careful, you know? Once those chickens escape, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna mutate. Yeah. They're gonna start breathing carbon dioxide. <laughs> so, how about you? Are you excited for next week? I am, and I'm wondering if what I'm gonna do is gonna be too ambitious. I'm wondering if it's going to be too... Uh, if it's gonna make too many leaps in in the the current canon of mm -hmm. Terra Nova, but hopefully everyone enjoys it regardless. Like I said, I'm talking with the rest of the team and saying like, all right, what can I do practically before it gets like, nah, that, that's a little, you know, my suspension of disbelief is too far. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely, I'm, I'm definitely excited about my plans, so. Cause I know you've um, shared them with me like a little bit in the past and I think, I think it's gonna be really fun. <laughs> I'm not sure how realistic it's gonna be, but it's gonna be fun. And yeah. I'm sure you can pull it off in that regards. Yeah, so that, I'm definitely very, very excited about that. I love the little robots on the roofs, like constructing oh, yeah. the dome and stuff. I love the- We didn't like so. I, I think that might be a thing that I might do as well for the next step. We need bigger construction things for what I'm planning. So oh, yeah. I might need to make a new new Fred 2.0. Do like a Giga like, Fred? Yeah, exactly. Like, like, some, like a giant version. Oh my but God. Uh, yeah, that should definitely be kind of cool. Because I kind of want to also, like maybe that's a, another thing. I want like Freds making other Freds. <gasps> like you ever see like, I don't know, like... Um, actual like Boston Dynamics or like actual robots or stuff like that or like mm -hmm. they'll like be like creating other robots themselves but they're like bigger and better versions and it's just like the it, it'll it'll be like an exponential uh, scientific curve I think that'll be perfect <laughs> we're just gonna ignore him <laughs> I love how you just put them everywhere well yeah well he was being sus you know so I think that's pretty much it um, I'm not sure what else I didn't cover. Uh, I figured, like, the monkey had a little bit of a bad day over here, so we kind of destroyed a few things. But, you know, I'm sure our little Martian researchers are able to cope with that. They're able to manage. Get the robots to do the work. Because, yeah, like, a ch imagine a chimpanzee just going crazy. Like, it, and, like, you're just, like, a chicken, like, just, like, stuck in a cage with one, like... I mean, it's they seem like to be doing good. Escape. Yeah, it's true. Everyone's chilling. Yeah. Hey, I don't know. Maybe the, maybe you know, the chickens think they're his family or something. I don't know. They're chill though. Yeah. They're very chill. And the peacock too. The peacock also, wherever he is. Yeah. They like to hide a lot. Is what I've noticed. All right. Well, I think that <laughs> yeah, covers I think that's it. Pretty much it. All right. Well, thank you for joining me here again today, and I can't wait for next week. Yeah, I mean, thank you, as always, for having me. And oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm very excited. All right, well, I'll see everyone in the next one, I guess. I'll see you all there. So take care everyone. and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye, everyone.